I'm Coop Williams, here to talk about the Data Analyst Toolkit. Being a data analyst is about using data to get answers to important questions. To do that, you need many tools, and you need mastery over those tools. Now, let's go over the main tools in your toolbox and what they're used for. I'll also try to follow the order in which you might use them in your day-to-day -day life as an analyst. The most important tool in your toolbox is your thinking ability. After all, being a data analyst is a knowledge worker job, and you'll be getting paid to think. Much of this course is meant to help train your brain, your typing fingers, and your gut instinct. When you are asked to solve a data analysis problem, you won't be following the same simple recipe every time, otherwise they'd get a robot to do it. You'll need to understand the question that is being asked, what form the answer must take, and possible paths from the data you have to the answer you want. You also need to know the limitations of your data, because many of your answers will have a probabilistic element. The answer might be a sure thing, a strong maybe, or that you don't have sufficient data to answer with confidence. Once you have a data analysis problem, you'll almost always find that the data is already collected in a database. A database can be as small as a single file on a computer network, or as large as terabytes of data in the cloud, collected over many decades and spread across many different files. Either way, you'll use SQL to get the data. SQL stands for Structured Query Language. It's a programming language that's used for the specific purpose of asking databases for information, hence the query part. With a few lines of SQL, you can answer questions like, which of our products sells the best? What percentage of our Californian customers are men in their 20s? And how many sales did we make in targeted regions before and after our latest ad campaign? Data is also found in Excel spreadsheets, because the business world loves spreadsheets. In this course, you'll learn advanced Excel techniques for all kinds of tasks. Some of your data will be messy. Missing values, typos, wrong formatting, Excel can help you clean up the data. It also helps you perform analysis. This usually involves statistical operations that will tell you meaningful information about the data. This part is where critical thinking is the most crucial. You can also visualize things in Excel such as through graph visualizations that update themselves as the data changes. As you analyze the data and understand it, you'll start thinking about how to communicate that understanding. Your audience will probably not want to see SQL queries or a spreadsheet. They'll want to see helpful graphs and hear you tell the story that's in the data. For this, you'll use PowerPoint, the most popular presentation software on the planet. Being good at PowerPoint is more of an art than a science, because it's really just a visual support for the story you tell verbally. Another storytelling tool you'll use is Tableau. This is one of many business intelligence tools that lets you build a customized, interactive data visualization dashboard. Business decision makers often need up-to-date visualizations of their data, and Tableau dashboards give them the ability to interact with those graphics. Building a good Tableau dashboard will require an eye for design as well as statistics knowledge. Finally, we will often need something to glue all these things together. Enter Python, the fastest growing programming language in the world. Python is not only one of the easiest languages to learn, but it's also decked out with functionality. For almost anything you want to do with a computer, someone has already written a tool you can use to do it called Python Library. Python enables you to move data between SQL databases, spreadsheets, and Tableau. It helps us perform analysis and visualization, and lets us get new data from the web on demand. You'll become familiar with the following Python libraries. Pandas, which lets you manipulate, clean, and analyze tabular data, like spreadsheets. NumPy, for processing arrays of data. Seaborn, for visualizing data. And Beautiful Soup for scraping data. You'll learn to use many other libraries in your Python journey. Once you have a solid grasp of Python fundamentals, you'll be able to pick up a library you haven't seen before, and quickly understand how to use it, because all Python libraries incorporate the same core elements. These highly sought-after skills will be proudly dangling from your tool belt. With enough practice, you'll know when and how to use them, and they in turn will transform your view of the world. <laughs>